What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here. Russia's up to it again, this time taking an American musician, Michael Travis Leak, a American who's actually lived in Moscow since 2010 and thrown him in Russian prison under suspicion of drug trafficking. And, uh, yeah, you can just see the headlines here. This has been going on for quite a while. Russia is jailing an increasing number of private American citizens. Just pretty much on anything. So whether you're a two-time Olympic gold medalist like Brittany Griner, you're a reporter for the Wall Street Journal, or whether you're just a lowly musician, Russia will... And China will, actually, as well, throw you in prison, like China did here. China sentences a 78-year-old U.S. citizen to life in prison on spying charges. Yeah. You think these guys are getting fair trials? <laughs> yeah, you can let me know your thoughts. But maybe some type of Ironic justice is happening in alternate ways. Take a look at what has just been reported happening. We're now learning that a mysterious hacker had drained Russian special services wallets and transferred the funds to Ukraine. Yeah, this comes as Ukraine demands reparations. Uh, for from Russia to pay billions of dollars for the dam destruction. I don't think that will ever happen. Uh, it's literally millions of gallons and, well, people's lives have been lost from that dam being destructed. You can let me know your thoughts if you think Russia will pay for that. But Russia did pay for it at least in a way, from this hacker. Here's what happened. This hacker stole bitcoins from the FSB and the GRU. If you know who Gru is, let me know in the comments. I grab the moon. I sit on the toilet with what? <laughs> this mysterious user seems to have been able to put blockchain and Bitcoin technologies to work against the Russian terrorist state. The hacker gained access to hundreds of crypto wallets that likely belong to Russian security agencies. Cryptocurrency industry news site Coindesk clarified, citing Chain Analysis, a cryptocurrency monitoring company that works closely with the U.S. government. They believe that the hacker used the transaction documentation feature of the Bitcoin blockchain to identify 986 wallets controlled by Russia's Foreign Military Agency grew the Foreign Intelligence Services, Services, SVR, and the Federal Service Security Service, FSB. At the same time, the hacker left messages in Russian to the owners of the wallets in which he stated that these wallets were used to pay for the services of hackers working for Russia. The hacker initially intended simply to destroy the funds stolen from Russian intelligence agencies. According to Chain Analysis, the mysterious attacker invalidated around 300,000 worth, worth of bitcoins. However, after Russia's war with Ukraine began, the hacker changed his mind. Since the first day of the war, the Ukrainian government has been using cryptocurrency to raise tens of millions of dollars for military and charitable needs. Some of the wallets involved in the investigation transferred funds to Ukrainian government's wallets after the full-scale war broke out. Simply put, the mysterious hacker stopped burning money and started sending it to help Ukraine. The fact that the op return sender was both willing and able to burn hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of Bitcoin, or millions of dollars actually in this case, in order to spread their message makes it more likely, in our opinion, that the information is accurate. This also comes as new reports of Russian casualties as they withdraw through their own minefields. Driven back by Ukraine's counteroffensive, UK Intel says, and 
The White House says Iran is helping Russia build a drone factory east of Moscow for the war in Ukraine. Yeah, so Russia is actually gaining a few allies here in Iran, North Korea, and maybe even China. Uh, so, yeah, the pretty interesting here. Russian military performance has been mixed in the last 48 hours of fighting as there are increasing number of reports of Russian casualties as they withdraw through their own minefields, according to UK Intel. Uh, as an intelligence update reports that they have been, there has been progress made on both sides from Russia and Ukraine as Ukrainian forces have likely made good progress and penetrated the first line of Russian defenses. In other reports, Ukraine progress has been slowed. Russian performance has been both mixed. Some units are likely conducting credible maneuver, maneuvers and defense operations have pulled back in some disorder. And the White House says Iran is helping Russia build a drone factory near Moscow. And this is a big concern because as we see other countries start to help out Russia, this could be a type of World War III type of situation because as other countries, if other countries start to align themselves with Russia, you know, this is, this is a pretty big concern because, well, are we now, you know, at war with Iran, China, North Korea? Even though the U.S. isn't at war, you, you kind of have to take this uh, at consideration. Does NATO need to sanction these other countries heavily as well? You have to really factor this in as well. And um, Iran is one of the founding members of OPEC. So, um, yeah, we've kind of seen this movement of Saudi Arabia and now OPEC, Iran, moving against the United States and the rest of the world to raise oil prices. Uh, but now, you know, we've, we've seen Saudi Arabia and Iran particularly moving against the United States, basically doing the exact opposite of what we're doing as well. So you can see a lot of tensions here. And you can... Where does this lead going forward? Where does this lead going forward? So let me know your thoughts here in the comments. I'll keep you up to date here with everything happening here in our country and around the world. If you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe down below. Click the bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos here. And thanks for liking and sharing these videos. Here's some videos you should watch next. The IRS has a warning for millions of Americans here in this video. The U.S. Treasury and the Fed have some big news here. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in the next video.